Hey guys, that's Monk91 here. So we're back for more dot hack infection. Let's go ahead and go down. So I love how before I started this let's uh, this not let's play this recording session, I was having issues with uh, getting the controller to work wirelessly. I, this has actually been happening a lot, so I think I might need to go. Uh, I might have to start switching out my controllers because I have two other controllers, but this is the the one I'm using right now is my main controller just cuz it's always been my main it was actually the original controller I got with the PS3 okay well that was easy level wise I might have been better off going to like level 4 trying to find like a level 4 or 5 dungeon but you know what whatever we'll do what we can and since more than likely guys I won't have to worry about uh, anything, um, well, I won't have to worry about dying, because I don't think I'll die from this. I'll just probably explore every room, see if I can get anything, and you know what? We got this guy, and he's can be data drained, so why not? But yeah, I don't know how many books there are, and It'd be interesting to obtain them all. Okay, cool. Got a virus core A, and I'll take it because virus cores are actually going to be really key later on in the game. Trust me on that one. Okay. Only reason why I even bother looking back is because, like, you know what? Screw it. I'll look back. Why not? Okay, so that leads us down. So we've got quite a bit of an area to go through. Okay, so I can live with this, cause honestly, okay, cool. I'll take any extra items I can get, and it's not like there's anything too crazy about breaking these boxes, cause you get stuff like that, health drink, and yeah, I'll take what I can get. Okay, so now we gotta go back and go the other way. Just, well, we don't have to, but I'd rather explore everything. No, oh, it's like, oh shit, how did I, I missed something I shouldn't have missed. Even though more than likely the good items you won't find till either at higher levels or you're not going to find till after you've completed uh, certain dungeons. Okay, well... Got the moon. And we go up. Oh yeah, I had something weird happen. Um, uh, there was a... Like a stray dog outside our house. Uh, oh, I don't have enough to use data drink. Or, I can't use data drink because it's already dead. But yeah. Okay. So that was the moon. And that's a trap one. And I don't have any fortune wire. Uh, fortunately. It's getting a little dark, so I'm going to flip on my light. Okay, that's better. Not really. But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I finished up an anime earlier today. Just because... You guys probably know I watch a ton of anime. Just because anime... It's just what I know. Uh, what was it? Yeah... Botanica, uh, Botanica, uh, Space Pirates, I know I'm butchering the name. A hatchet. Okay. Well, let's just keep going. Um, I, there's a little bit more to explore. But yeah, after this, guys, we'll go back to the main storyline. Go to the next dungeon area. So yeah, this is actually a dungeon crawler for the most part. If you really think about it, because literally you're going through hundreds. Of, well, not you don't have to go through hundreds of dungeons, but you've got to go through a shit ton of dungeons. And yeah, I think I'd rather go through this way, get the farther one out of the way now, than, than hit the other one when I come back. So that way I don't have to worry about it later. And break the pots or urns, whatever. <laughs> okay. 
Amateur egg. I thought it said amateur egg. Okay, there's a ton of boxes, but I'm not gonna worry about them. Just because I want to keep this going through. I, I just want to keep this going. Yeah, because I would have missed like the amateur egg right there, which actually will be helpful for something later on in the game. But that something's going to be a while still, because it's not necessarily a short game we got to go through. Oh, I, wow, I missed. Okay. Well, let's get this. And green gala, whatever. Okay, let's go through here. Dead end. Well, not. Well, it's got a chest. And what the hell is green gale? Because I keep getting it. Ah, it's a tornado. That actually makes sense. But yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, I got a phone call right now, but I'll call him back later. Oh yeah, that's all good. Yeah. So, how do you guys like the Dot Hack game so far? I know this game series doesn't get a lot of love, but it needs some love. <laughs> but hey, you do what you gotta do. I mean, honestly, this is one of those game series that you can find the first game pretty easily, which is what I'm playing now. To find the rest, though, that's the challenge. And the funny thing is, with the Japanese games, I managed to pick up uh, out of the first four, because I did not pick up the GU series in Japanese, because, well, unfortunately, I didn't have that. I didn't have that much cash on me at the time when I when they were going. They were still going like 40 bucks a piece. In Japanese, which is outrageous. Um, but I managed to get the first uh, two through um, four, which still ran me like four, uh, 60 bucks actually. They were about 20, a actually a little less than 60. I think it was, I got it for about 50 after everything because they were basically. Uh, they weren't marked down or anything. This is at, uh, it, this was at PAX last year. Come on, Black Rose. I know you can deal with that. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Take the Gale Breath. Okay, that's gonna be another wind move. Okay, Deadly Moth does not want to die. It's all good. Experience-wise, like this, it would take me... Oh wow. This is actually a pretty good. I keep hearing amateur egg, not immature egg. Yeah. Holy sap. I gotta check what that is. Because. Oh, more holy sap. Okay. I'm a little curious now because I've never heard of holy sap. No. Okay. Items. Holy sap. Okay. That's interesting. But yeah. Let's get through here. I don't know where. Okay, well, it looks like we're gonna have to backtrack quite a bit. Because I don't know where the exit or the next level is. <laughs> But yeah, this is what makes the game so great, is you don't, uh, you go into random worlds, or dungeons. You don't know where you're gonna be going, you don't know what you're gonna have to be fighting. For the most part, though, monster-wise, it stays pretty much the same for what levels you're looking for. They, this was actually, it wasn't pushing the limits any, it's pushing nowhere near the limits of the PS2. But this was actually pretty good for being an early title on the system. If the title's still getting played even today, I wish more people would play it. But yeah, um, I think it's amazing. Because if you can play a game that's ridiculously old and still have fun with it, 
they did something right. It's not like Call of Duty where you can pop it in, play it a little bit, and no one cares. Which I do actually have a Call of Duty Let's Play series. Uh, Modern War I did Let's Play Modern Warfare 2. If anybody was uh, wondering, am I ever going to hit the Call of Duty shit? I did. <laughs> I need to go back through and do Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 3 because I kind of want to get the set done. Um, just because I actually have... Well, my sister has the Modern Warfare, and uh, her boyfriend has Modern Warfare 3, and basically they just, and they're basically in my collection. I'm not gonna, if they want them, they can take them, but you know, I'm as long as they're in with my collection, it's like, I'm not gonna not use them. But yeah, okay, so guys, next time we're gonna go down to level four, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.